Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. The EO, the OG EOD, the original Empire of Dirt. Here we are going to very quickly, just the tip of mind, and only for say two minutes, go over some electronicals for the back of the class. What uh, you know, shop rats like myself I like to tinker a little bit, but uh, don't necessarily under uh, comprehend what's going on. This is the perfect situation on account of my daughter. Uh, she got her own channel. We we got our own channel. I do the editing, but uh, she was very pleased to find out that uh, I had monetized it, and she has all of a dollar seven USD sitting there waiting. She was adamant she wanted to go buy some sour human so she could bite the heads off. I uh, apparently the the candy sour sour patch kids loves them. Uh, after I told her. Uh, we had to take that 90% cut in order to uh, chooch up her, her beauty school uh, tuition. Uh, she decided we best make another video. I want to very quickly cobble together a circuit, what she can understand, the STEM and all, you know, educating the youth, building them up into humans and so forth. It's, ask me where I'm at and I'll tell you where I'm to now. I'm building a, we're, we're building a scorecard, a scorekeeper for the pinball machine analog scorecard now this would be very simple to do with an arduino and some ones and zeros and the jazz hands on the gargler routine I'm not going to do that we're going to keep it analog so as to easily explain to the little one how it works this is going to be our scorecard it's a milliameter we're going to use some relays and some reed switches these are magnetic switches when they come into contact with a magnet they close now here is a magnet in the shape of a marble as well as some um, these are fast blinking LEDs and we got some resistors opening up our CAD package now we in the shop here we only have the one approved vendor you get what you pay for what we are going to do we're going to use this milliameter to keep score it's not going to really keep score like it continually adding up what we're going to do we're going to run it like a like an adventure where you need to hit certain targets in order to win. So every time you hit a target, this needle is going to move further up uh, until you hit 20 and then you've reached all your targets and uh, fanfare and so forth. Uh, this works, it's gonna be kind of cute. If it doesn't work, you'll never see this. So chances are, uh, eventually you got it to work. What we do is we take a nine volt battery, put the negative to ground, bring it over here in a main power switch, read switch. And then that read switch goes into a relay. The read switch feeds the coil for the relay. Now there's a bit of fuckery already because we have a nine volt battery and we got a three, three volt relay. What we're gonna do is we're going to add in a current limiting resistor in here. Then we're going to make this relay self latching. So we bring the positive, we tee it off into the common of the relay on the normally closed contact. Now when we energize this coil, that's going to switch the contact over to the normally open. And that normally open is going to backfeed in to the front of the relay to keep that coil energized so that now it stays energized until we release the main power. Right? Does that work? Oh, wait, no. That's got to be over here. Ignore this. Now, what we're going to do is out we're going to tee this off out of the normally open contact. We're going to tee that off to a resistor and then to an LED. So we get some visual feedback that we've hit our target. And then that is going to get fed into our ammeter. And we'll, we'll parallel a bunch of these circuits up to all feed into the ammeter. So as you hit more targets, more LEDs light up and the needle goes further up. The other interesting point about this is, instead of just a plain old LED, we're gonna be, do a fast blinking RGB, red, green, uh, blue, brown. Um, and these have electronicals in them, what, what cycle them. So they're not always going to be uh, drawing the same amount of current. That will make our needle move around a little bit. So that it should be an interesting effect where we get dust blinking lights and this thing moving around. And then once you hit 20, through the magic of television, I've got it all mocked up. We've got the battery. It's going into the main power switch. The main power switch 
feeds the nor the common contact on the relay. It also feeds this reed switch. The reed switch has a uh, current limiting resistor so that this three volt relay doesn't see the full nine volts. So that guy, there's a voltage drop there. Uh, that's 600 and something ohms. And then we have on the output on the normally open contact, we have a thousand ohm resistor going into dust blinking LED, going into the milliamp meter, going back to ground on the battery. Then we also have a jumper here, what goes from the normally open contact. So when this sees power, it latches. This little guy here is what latches her. But I see a problem in that we are going to get nine volts there. So this, this guy, yeah, actually needs to be connected to the other side of that relay. Who doesn't love the smell of rosin in the morning? 1.30 a.m. to be exact. Now, why am I soldering that? Because I'm a fucking moron. I gotta get that uh, hat. Oh, ready to rock and or roll will energize the main power. It will get stopped here at the reed switch and also stopped on the normally open contact. So now it's energized. We're playing. We're probably, that might be magnetized a little too much, but we're playing. Bingo, bango, bingo, bango, bingo, bango. You're looking for hitting your target. When you hit your target, LED lights up and the indicator goes to five milliamps. So uh, goal one of four. Now you see it's kind of jiggling around there as that LED chooches. So what is happening? is once we fire this relay now we've moved the contact over to the normally closed and we we feed back feed that into the the coil so it's self latching the only way to get that to turn off now is turn off the main power so if we have these all in parallel we're going to parallel a bunch of these up every time that we hit one of those it's going to increase the score or the, the goal on this milliamp gauge. Now the tricky part, explaining this to Chickadee and getting her to help me install it without the aid of either beer or cussing. Gonna be tough. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in advice. On the Chickadee Engineering channel, never the two shall meet the reprobates on this channel. You like to keep a certain you know, a certain decorum on this channel, what doesn't jive very well with uh, bringing my daughter into the shop and doing a little project. So that's why there's a wholly separate entity over there. And that way, you know, you can sort of watch with your grandkids or your kids or whatever, and, and ain't nobody going to drop an F-bomb.